I'm just here at rest. I found a very nice, yesterday I actually found a very nice uh, long bill Dowitcher and today I'm going to try to photograph it again. The, a long a Dowitcher is, uh, is a wader, North American wader that absolutely shouldn't belong in Europe and this is actually just the I think it's the 19th record in Norway of the of the bird. So today I'm out again trying to, to to find it again and try to do some photography. I just spotted it, but it flew away before I actually managed to to take a photo of it. So yeah, join me um, when I'm searching for the Dowager. This is behind me. You can see the area that is in. This island is a lot of lot of small wetlands, and this is what the waders love. There's, there's shallow water that they can they can wade in it with the long legs, and then they also have a very long bill. Most of the waders, and they they are super sensitive, so that uh, so they can stick the bill into the mud, and then they can feel the small small animals that they are feeding on. So so with this sensitive bill, it's it's what actually makes them get the food. I don't really see the food, I just feel the food and then they then they get the food in that way. So yeah, so but now I'm gonna try to find it back at Dowitcher and it's it's gonna be yeah hopefully I find it today I'm better equipped. Yesterday I didn't have my best camera best uh, best lenses with me but now I, I put on a big lens and hopefully we managed to do some footage and some uh, yeah some some nice uh, photography and maybe some video even I don't know Join me on this mission. It's the first time ever actually I find this bird myself. I've seen it once before in Norway, many years back, about 10 years back, or maybe even more. It was in 2003, I think. But now I'm, <coughs> I'm here, I managed to find it myself for the first time. Always feels so much better when you actually find a bird yourself and not just traveling or a twitch, as we call it in the bird language, so. So, I just found his back, he's sitting on a rock over there. I don't know if you can, you probably, we will have to go there and it's a little bit a uh, problem where he sits because it's on a rock and there is also a red knot next to it, so I have to be very careful not to scare it away. It's always a problem when these rarities turns up too many people coming to try to see it and everybody wants their own photo or own picture so yeah we will see I try to be careful and see what happens here on the rest is actually not a big problem because I'm yeah it's only me and one other birder so the bird doesn't really get pushed so much anyway so so even if it should happen that it flies off once or twice it's not it's not a big big deal but Maybe this bird came all the way from North America now and, and of course he's, he's uh, tired and he needs the rest and he needs the time to get his food. So, so we will try to be very careful, but I'll try to get a bit closer and see if we manage to do something. Just feeding behind me here now. I'll try to zoom in for you guys. I try to zoom in for you guys so you can see a little bit more how it looks. It's, uh, I only have my short lens now since I'm filming myself. I have my bigger lens here, so you see, it is, this small lens is actually Olympus, 300mm uh, plus a converter, so actually this, this one here is 840mm, the ones I'm filming with now is just a 100mm equivalent to 200mm on a DSLR, but I'll try now to film the Dowitcher is sitting just behind me, uh, still about 50 meters away. So I try to zoom in. Maybe you, maybe you can see it here. Just hang on. Oh. See if you can manage to get something out of this. You can see it barely just behind the rock there. I changed lens. I will change the lens now. So. so maybe
this was so nice, eh? Managed to get close to the bird, reasonably close. Got some nice pictures, uh, some nice, uh, also some nice video, I hope. And um, yeah, who knows? After a lot of crawling, a lot of, yeah, a lot of elbowing across the grass and over the rocks, we managed to get a decent, decent view on this uh, bird at the end. The other bird he was with is actually, that's actually a red knot and they are migrating through Norway on a regular basis. Every spring they come through Norway and they're going to Greenland and some of them even to Canada. So, so maybe if this bird is now, this bird is now, maybe the Dowager will follow the knot and then maybe he gets home. So hopefully he managed to get a little bit closer to home at least and uh, don't get totally lost. Yeah, this was a success. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Uh, that's all for me now. See you later and until the next bird, happy birding.